Hello! Howdy. I haven't made a video like this before, so I apologize if this first one's janky. I will hopefully get better of time. But welcome! Uh, I'm turning my car, my cool awesome Subaru Outback, uh, into a person, like an actual character design. Because I thought it'd be fun, and people on Instagram voted for that. Let's, uh, get into it. I'll speed talk over the time lapse and all that. So this initial concept, uh, I already had a lot of sketchbook doodles of what some of the ideas I had beforehand, so this was just kind of more of a quick finalization, kind of, of what I had in mind. And I guess to give a little info about my car, as I said in the intro, Subaru Outback. It's like white. Name is Blanche. I didn't name it that. Uh, my sister-in-law did. Because we originally... This is my first car. The way we got it is my brother and my dad traded vehicles, so I got the funny Subaru Blanche and my brother got my dad's truck. I just kind of wanted to go with chill snowboarder vibes. I thought it'd be fun. I also don't have like a character design where their whole like their whole sitch is like they snowboard. That's their thing. That's their vibe. That's what they do. So I'm like, all right, I'll lean into that. I snowboard. Subaru Outback. It's an outdoorsy type car, usually. Yeah, there's a concept. Going on to the actual big drawing I did. I struggled for both the pose, but it was fine. You're also gonna notice in their right hand, uh, there's gonna be a bottle that is not alcohol. Don't drink and drive. It is orange cream soda, since I drink that a lot. Or, not a lot. I just, I don't know. It's a notable drink I have when I'm in the car specifically. So I gave them that. I also gave them fries, because one of the resorts I really like, they used to sell really good beer battered fries, and they're like, don't, it makes me mad. So I'm like, all right, your snowboarder vibe, I'm giving you the beer battered fries. It's a staple of my snowboarding experience. Outfit-wise, it's literally just basically, not, I wouldn't say my snowboarding gear, but it's, but it's snowboarding gear. The jacket I fought with for far too long of coloring, which you'll see later. Because an issue I have- I'm gonna say an issue. I use a lot of darker colors with a lot of my character designs, so... With a character who is like main gimmick, or like the- because the car is like pretty much all white. White and then gray and some brown, all that. I was like, okay, I don't want to just do another like all black clothing character design when it's, it's not meant to be that. So I fight with that for a long time, but I'm pretty happy with what I figured out. With the pants, those are just snowboarding pants. I just, I like to, when we go up snowboarding, I put on my boots and pants when we're at home. And then I just roll up the bottoms, so I get this like baggy kind, kind of like bucket above the boot. I just think it's silly. I find it's cool design. I think it's a cool look. Obviously I'm not going around wearing snowboarding pants, but I think it's a funny look. I gave them- I didn't want to give them any big, like, low- like, bold and like, LOOK! LOOK! IT'S A SUBARU! But I gave them a little, like, Subaru logo kind of looking pin on the hat. The boots are based on Vans snowboarding boots. I don't have them. They look very casual, and I figured if I'm gonna be giving a character of snowboarding boots that they always wear, I'll try to pick some casual ones, because they are not casual type boots. <laughs> no ankle movement. I gave them a matching belt. I have a, I think it's an arcade belt is what it's called, that I got and it's like a tealish color or minty. It's bluey green, it's in that range. Gave them the same thing. Bag, because it's beefier car, good amount of storage. Also, cause I just keep a lot of random things in there. So I'm like, all right, cool, backpack, do it. The, on their left zipper pocket, I have some zip ties. You don't see it a lot anymore, but, because a lot of resorts do it differently now, but a lot of the older tickets, they would just, it was pretty much just paper that you zip tie to your jacket, and a lot of the people would just leave the zip ties. I do that, I think it's fun. So I left those, I also added a couple more, because I decided it'd be silly if I made the zip ties the colors of the gender fluid flag. It's a car, I don't think, it's a chill car. I don't think Blanche is going to care about gender, and I thought it'd be kind of just funny to turn that into a subtle pride flag. 
Don't mind the god awful colors these change. I just need the block in colors. I made the eyes like an orange yellow because the headlights. Once I I got all the I did all the coloring where I'm like, I know for sure basically what this color is. And then I went and fought it. There's me adding the two extra zip ties. And then I went and fought with colors for far too long. Because I use a lot of like darker clothing for my character designs, because that's what I wear. So designing a character that's in mostly like white or lighter colors was a pain. I, I like the end result. It just it took a while to figure out. I had to change the background a few times, seeing if that was my issue. And eventually I went flannel for the jacket, because I don't have a white flannel jacket, I have a red, like, Vulcan flannel. This solves the issue, so it's not all white. Get some gray in there. <laughs> it helps it balance out, gives it design so it's not as flat. Sunglasses. I gave them my sunglasses. We matched, because we're cool and awesome like that. We're besties. Also, the goggles. I forgot the two eyewears until now. The goggles are my spy goggles, Amber, my favorite goggles. I've had them since like 2013. They're perfect. It's hard to see when it's zoomed out like this, but they have a scar on their right cheek, which can either be, it's up to you, from when there's a slight, got a slight dent in the front, uh, cause I rolled into a tree one time. Not hard. So there's a very, it's a very faint dent. Or if you want the more like gash type dent on the passenger side door, somebody when I was at work decided to open their door very aggressively and put a nice dent on that side. They're both on the passenger side, so it can either be the door or the tree. Once I got colors figured out, it was so easy. I just, or it was so much nicer. I just went through and shading and all that. Background basic. I. I spent too long on the code. I was tired. I was done. The colors were beating me up. Added some rim lighting because it looks cool. But yeah, I think that's basically all the info I can put into this and in however, the like eight minute speed run of this. There you, ha there you have it. There's my awesome and cool car as an actual like person. If you like this kind of video, yell at me. I'll make more. I think they're fun. I just like designing random characters. It's always been something I liked. If you want me to do more of these, let me know. Or I guess if you want to see my parents- I don't have any other cars, dog. I, I don't need many cars. I got my one car. I got Blanche. We're besties. But if you want to see me turn like my parents' cars into people, I can do that. I've already thought about it. I have a few vague ideas on what I want to do. But yeah, if you enjoyed, thank you. Thank you for watching. Yell at me if you want more of these. Uh, have a good rest of your day or night. Thank you for stopping by.